So there's a drawing of what the painting is about. The pink tree, the um, oranges, the little garden. But I, I think maybe like in this drawing, it's a bit looser. I think that's hopefully what the painting is going to be like. On one side, the dark green of the, uh, the orange trees, the pink magnolia in the middle, that garden down the side. I've got in my head where I think it's going to go and what it's going to look like, but who knows. The way I'm going to start this picture is from the bottom and this will be the kind of soft green along the bottom of the painting that the lavender comes out of. Um, I'll put it down once and I can already see that it needs to be, there's a, a tiny bit of black needs to go in it because it needs to be more, more grey green. Mm, maybe even a tiny bit more black. Yeah, that's better. So, right along the bottom, oh, that's lovely, is the feeling of the bushes that the lavender comes out of. Now, I'm going to get a bit of purple. Yeah, that's better. That's better. And so I'm coming right up into the top corner of the painting where I know that some, I put a bit of white into it, some lavender hangs over the top of that, of that garden. So this is going to be where the, um, the orange trees are coming up this side. So there's that, that's a lovely green. And it's the feeling of a number of a number of trees that go there. Then I can put in the feeling of or this old rock wall. Some of it bits of purple, some of it. Mm. Yeah, that's good, but I think I need to just um, let that dry. I think I need to walk away from it a bit because it's going, <laughs> it's going too well at the moment. I'm waiting for some disaster to strike, but it's good. So here's where I am now. Uh, there's the feeling of the pink tree. Yeah, that's good. I eliminated the orange trees, but just there's some sort of orange stripes to symbolize them. The, uh, the lavender down the bottom, lavender down the bottom has become a bit of a kind of purpley, spotty, stripey area. And the garden up the side, which isn't finished, has the chair in it, nor is the uh, top garden or the gazebo but look I like the feeling of it now I like the simplicity of it it's a pink tree well there it is I've been working on it for quite a while there's the gazebo there's the lavender there's the other side of the garden there's the little seat where was the magnolia tree well it is gone it just wasn't good enough so after some time there it is there's the tree there's the 
water, there's the grass, there's the thing. Well, I think it's a load of old crap. So let's see what I can do. It's just, it's not simple enough. So I came down last night and I picked up a brush and I smashed it all around. And uh, I, I've got an idea about where it's going to go. It's not going to be the magnolia tree. I'll have to try that again at some stage. I have the feeling, and I've been thinking about a lot for a, a softer painting about the reef. And strangely enough, there's a, a about a little mandarin fish. They're very rare. I'm, uh, I saw one in uh, Indonesia and in Sulawesi. You know, the idea is it's going to be a much softer picture, but it of course will have the glow of that colour underneath. So we'll see where it goes. So really, I've been working into it with quite a big brush, and um, just kind of softening the colour. So I'm working into parts of the painting, sometimes like squeezing the paint out of the tube and then, I don't know, like softening it a little bit with the brush. Some kind of something happening there, something, yeah. Trying to make my nice colours, interesting shapes. And over here, where it's still quite wet and quite pink, then if I put those little marks on it, gently, it, um, it's a kind of emerald green on top of the pink, but it just will soften into the pink a little bit. And look, those little bits of white could have some little bits of green <coughs> into them. So it's just about trying to make something that's quite pretty, really. There's a word. You don't hear often in contemporary art circles, but I rather like it. Let's find a bit of yellow down here. Maybe they're little fish. Maybe they are little fish, or maybe they're little bits of yellow. So this is how it's going. I've added some dark bits in the corner. I've um, just pushed those bits of yellow around. That part's all right. I've, um, I've scraped into a couple of parts. And at the moment, I've got the whole canvas uh, leaning on this saucepan. I've lifted the canvas up because the top part's still wet and it's kind of, the paint's running, but I want it to run in a certain direction. I want it to run up towards the top of the canvas rather than, rather than the bottom. But there's some very nice pieces in it. Very nice indeed. So there it is on the wall. A little mandarin fish painting. Boy, that was certainly was a journey. It's uh, it's got some, I hope, some beautiful parts in it. There's the little mandarin fish. Well, that's the feeling of it. And then there's some painted fish, some scraped in parts, some yellow fish. 
plenty of things to say. Plenty of things to say. And some pretty parts. Yeah. Yeah, I like this picture very much. Little Mandarin fish.